Okay, hi, so it's Christian here again. I'm here for uh, another video log. I'm in currently in Christchurch, South Island, New Zealand at the moment. I'm in with a intensive care paramedic, Aaron. Okay, <laughs> we're uh, we're basically, I'm just gonna quickly show you the view. So we're sitting in a, um, a rapid response vehicle at the moment, and this is the view. Overlooking Christchurch, which you can see is pretty nice so we're just sitting down anyway and i was just gonna have a quick chat with aaron and just find out a little bit about his sorry i'm a bit tired i'm a bit asleep recently um about his job really so aaron do you just want to introduce yourself and say who you are so. hey guys um i'm aaron um been in christchurch for about two years before that was in auckland and i'm essentially uh, an intensive care paramedic which is an equivalent of a critical care paramedic yeah. uh, so at the height of our clinical qualification and the next step beyond that is endorsement with RSI and that's sort of the, the pinnacle of where we stand clinically currently yeah. uh, until we get the model that you're producing for the yep. UK over here for consultant level but that's yeah essentially the the level I'm at encompasses um, intubation, IOs, finger thoracotomies, we're about to get elect fascia blocks for NOFs, um, what else have we got? A so, wide range. I mean, yeah, it's pretty so much it, everything you got. So it's like your pain relief? What sort of uh, drugs uh, are you carrying for that? And... Pain relief, uh, we carry all of our PO medication, uh, paracetamol, ibuprofen, tramadol, uh, up to our inhaled of methoxyfluorine. We got rid of Entonox a while ago. Uh, we are now only carrying fentanyl as our main opiate. Uh, morphine has just been removed from our service and we carry ketamine, IM, uh, PO, infusion and IV bolus. Yeah. Cool, so it's quite interesting. The There's quite a lot of comparisons actually in terms of UK practice and uh, what's actually happening over here but there's also some subtle differences as well and so in some respects this kind of practice is quite different but then when you actually look at the job profile it's again it's quite different from the UK and I think one of the uh, more interesting kind of discussions we have is about distances and when you really start looking at the scenery start to understand the differences in terms of geography, population density, demographics, which are really quite different. So these guys might travel a long way and have to be with the patient for a long time before they get to uh, definitive care. Whereas in the UK, it says quite often we'll arrive, do some pretty aggressive medicine, and then quite quickly, we were, relatively quickly, we're at a, a major trauma centre. So, uh, so um, Aaron, just uh, in terms of your training education, then what's uh, what you're looking at to become a, an ICP? Uh, so I'm degree qualified. Uh, I have a three-year undergraduate degree, and that covers up to paramedic level. Uh, yep. We're currently moving towards a model where postgraduate qualification is required to be an intensive care paramedic, and indications at this stage are that that's moving towards a master level requirement. Yep. Um, so do your undergraduate for three years, and then three years part-time uh, for your master's, and that will incorporate your critical care component, but also your RSI endorsement. The movement within the company, well, within uh, New Zealand, is the splitting of our two pathways. So once you reach your paramedic level, you'll then decide if you want to continue with your critical care pathway and become an intensive care uh, uh, specialist, or if you're wanting to move towards your community practitioner model, which will yeah. hopefully move towards prescribing, suturing, your low acuity uh, community management style. And that will gain will be a master's level qualification. Yeah, brilliant. Well, thanks, mate. Um, well, cheers. Thanks for your introductions. Good to see you. <laughs> I'm just going to, just before we before we shoot off though, I'm just going to have to show you that view again, because that's, uh, I think you'll you kind of agree, that's pretty, pretty spectacular. Cool. Well, that's it. That's it. That's me from Christchurch. Um, See you soon.